Hi everybody, my name is Jasmine, or commonly the Gonzalez. You can follow me on Twitter at I am underscore Blair. You can follow me the same thing on Instagram. I post a lot of pictures of what I cook, things I see, things I don't like. Um, I decided to do a video blog in the wake of the re-election of President Obama. Yes, that's my president. He's your president. Get over it if you don't like it. Um, there's been a lot of things that I don't like that's been going on, but I'm going to deal with that later. So I'm going to start off, give me a little background on me. From a little town called Lower South Carolina, nobody knows where that's at unless you're from South Carolina. Then again, you still may not know where that's at. Um, to give you a roundabout estimate of how small it is, it was 177, 177 people in my graduating class. Um not that many um i'm a history major here at the university of south carolina usc go cox the real usc the real carolina everything else don't matter um yeah that's pretty much about it the reason i decided to do this is because as a history major, a history major i see a lot of things that i don't like in regards to the way that people carry themselves and the way that people represent the United States of America. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm a racist. I think I'm a jazzmanist because everything else to me is just really stupid. There's no really other way to put it. Um, people tend to let color, you know, judge how they talk to people. Um, how they look at people and it's 2000 and goddamn 12. Um, the last time I checked that battle should have been over a long time ago. The day schools were made for blacks and for whites to go at the same time in the same classroom. But yet we're still fighting a pointless and endless battle. I think it's going to be one of those battles that's going to be fought until the end of time. Um, Okay, I feel like this should be my first topic as to what I want to talk about in my video blog. Um, I don't like the phrase African American. Um, think about it. An African American is the label that they give, you know, black people. What do they call white people? European Americans? I don't think so. Um, if you haven't noticed, that's something they call Chinese Americans when their parents are from China and they are in turn born in America. That's also the phrase that they give to Mexicans, Mexican American, um, when they were born, in, their parents were born in Mexico and they were born in America. My mama was born at Lord's Community Hospital. My daddy was born at Lord's Community Hospital, I think, or White, or one of the two, but it was not in Africa. I can tell you that much. I have never been to Africa. My mama has never been to Africa. My daddy has never been to Africa. Her mama, his mama, her daddy, his daddy ain't never been to Africa. So why am I being called an African American? That's something I feel like they do here in America. To, to lessen the fact that I too am, am an American citizen. And, and that's what it boils down to. You know, you hate to relate everything to race here in America. Well, that's exactly what it boils down to. Um, you can put my credentials and a white person's credentials on the same thing. Don't, don't check a race. And we both could be qualified for the job. But if I check that black mark and they check that white mark, it's more than likely that they're going to be the one to get the job. And, you know, it may not be any legit purposeful intentions, but that's how the human brain thinks. When something has been instilled in you so long, that's what you're used to. 
the reason why so many people are so upset because President Obama won is because they can't get over the fact that he's black. It's not the fact that he's a lesser president or he's the worst thing since sliced bread or anything. It's the fact that people can't get over the fact that he's a black man and he has pushed us forward. They don't want the success that we're getting to come from a black man. That That's how I feel about it. You know, or is he an African American? Um, you know, to get back on that, that term was something that they thought, you know, help us helped us identify with our homeland of Africa, which is not my homeland because my homeland is is lower South Carolina. Um, but to help us relate back to our homeland, but not all black people or all black slaves that which they referred to back then came from Africa. There the Caribbean islands. There was black people in France before. There was I mean there was black people everywhere. It was just a matter of finding them because there's which goes on another rant which I will go on later is the whole idea of black and white Latinas or black and white Hispanics or black and white Native Americans. There was a white Native American on America's Next Top Model and she went home last season. Um but you know when I sign my name on let's say a standardized test when I go sign my name in my ethnicity on the GRE I'm more than likely going to check other unless they have the word black. Why? Because I've never been to Africa. My parents have never been to Africa and I just feel like that's another way for you to downplay me and my citizenship by not just calling me an American. When we talk about with with white people we don't say oh you're an Irish American or yeah you, you're a, a, a Slovakian, Czechoslovakian, or whatever the word is American. No! They're just a white person. They're just an American. But why do I have to be identified by the supposed country that my forefathers came from and you don't know that i know for a fact that my grandmother's was was native american her name was missouri how many black people you know named missouri my grandma and she was not black she was a native american so why is it that i have to identify just strictly with being black or being an african-american I don't think that that's fair. And I feel like black people, you know, my grandmother always told me it's not about what they call you. It's what you answer to. But why do you choose to answer to being called an African-American? Why do you accept the lesser things in life? Why do you accept the fact that, you know, your own, your own food stamps or your own welfare and you choose not to get out of that situation? Those are the types of things that cause us to be, you know, still stuck in in the mentality of the civil rights movement. It's the fact that we won't allow ourselves to break away from those things that keep us bound, which are, are terms like being called an African-American. You know, when you take the time to sit down and think about what it is you go on with in your daily life and and how things seem and then they're not really what they seem you know i feel like we need to take more pride in ourselves we've had too many people lose their lives black and white for us to be sitting here and and accept any and everything you know um some people might say that I'm radical on, on some of the things that I say or whatever, but I don't think I'm a radical. I just think I'm a realist. You know, I see things for what they really are and 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 not what they seem. Because when you when you dwell on on what things on what things seem to be, you lose sight on what you want in life, what you need out of life, and how you're going to get them. Because you you tend like okay for example we like to you know okay this 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 tv show seems like it's it's good and all 
but then you watch it and it's like, you know, those previews really kind of, you know, fuck with me. I ain't like that too much. That's how you should look at your life. Preview it, you know, think about what you want out of it. Then sit back and reflect and be like, okay, is, is that really what, is that really what I want out of life? And then you'll realize that you're allowing things to keep you, to keep you trapped in your situation, to keep you bound in, in the confines of being called an African American, being bound in the confines of having to borrow money from the check cashing place or keeping yourself bound into the ideas of not being able to do anything more than what your parents can do. That's a lie. You know, my parents had a, had a business and it was, it was, it was fairly successful, but we, we made it. It is not like we lived in luxury or anything, but we made it. And my sister, you know, she had to take out loans and credit cards and all that, you know, to help pay for school, but she made it. She did it. She wasn't a product of her environment. She didn't allow the situation at home of having enough to sustain the household, keep her from what she wanted out of life. And she's what an attorney and she has one little girl and a husband and a baby on the way. And she's successful because she chose not to let the things that America wanted her to be or what they said she was define who she really was. And that's what I want for America. That's what I want for my people. That's what I want. And when I say my people, that's what I want for Americans, not just black people, but for everyone, because divided, we fall together, we stand and we have to be on one accord. You know, I know everybody's upset because not everybody, because I'm happy because <laughs> Mitt Romney lost or whatever, but it's like, get over it. It is what a whole new day about to be a whole nother day and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, except for stay prayed up, keep President Obama prayed up, keep the you know, Republican Congress paid up, keep the Senate prayed up, because we don't have time to allow other nations to see us in in discourse, because that's only going to give them opportunities to find our weakest link and attack. And that's not and that's not what we want, because I got um. Yeah, plans that I want for my life and going further and the nation going further in debt because everybody can't get along and other people see that we can't get along and they want to attack us and all that is, is going to put a hold on that. So get over it. Pray about it and stop saying you hate this man. Stop saying you hate Barack Obama. Do you know this man? You don't know this man to hate this man. I don't know that man from Adam's butthole and neither do you. I never once said that I hated Mitt Romney because I don't know that man to hate that man. I didn't like everything that he agreed with and what he wanted. I never said all of it because there were some things, you know, yeah, I could, I see you personal. I might, not, might not think about that, but there's other things. But you, the fact that you said that I could, I need to have the baby of a rapist. No, sir. This is my stomach. This is my lady parts. I won't be pushing that out because then I've been up in jail anyway for killing the baby. Because when I look at the baby's face, all I would ever see is the face of a rapist. I'm sorry. That's that's how I feel about that. You know, somebody who tell who tells me that I should be able to borrow my tuition money from my parents. Well, first of all, tuition is not the only thing you need when you go to school. Housing, books, food, transportation. My mama cannot afford to have her household and where I stay at up here. As to why I need all my scholarships, grants, and my loans to the fullest extent. But those are all things that I'm going to talk about. You know, I just wanted to, me and my rants, you're going to get that a lot. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to give you a preview of me and one of my main issues and one of the main things that I really don't like. And I hope that this is going to be a start of something great. The State of the American with Carmen de Gonzalez. Yeah, I like that name. So I'll see you again. I'll see you soon. Email me Hickman, H-I-C-K-M-A-N dot J-A-S-M-I-N-E at gmail.com. 
and email me topics things that you want to hear me talk about you can find me on facebook jasmine blair you can go and see some of the posts that i've posted in the last couple of months in regards to the election in regards to people in general and their stupidity um follow me on twitter at i am underscore blair um there my everyday life along with the things that i feel need to change ain't gonna change will change maybe gonna change all of that just things that i want to say um if you're offended i'm sorry you don't have to watch it you don't have to follow it um but i'll see you soon